open Microsoft Visio by clicking on all programs Microsoft Office and then Microsoft Visio open an engineering template and then click on either process flow diagram or piping and instrumentation diagram a page will open you'll see that it's bigger than conventional paper and you'll want to shrink that down click on print preview and then page setup click landscape and then on page size Turn that to 11 by 8.5 inch paper, hit OK, then close print preview, and you'll see that your paper is normal sized paper now. There's a lot of symbols already, and there's more if you click uh, more shapes, engineering, process engineering, and then for example equipment and vessels uh, US units click a vessel size it the way you want type in a vessel name when you double click on the vessel click the vessel again and increase the size of the font so that it's easy to read select the pump under more shapes, engineering, process engineering, equipment, pumps, US units, and then a centrifugal pump. Size it. Select it. Change the font size. And then change the name of your pump. at a pipeline you can change the location of your symbols by clicking on the yellow diamond connect the pipeline it's a little light so click line and make it a heavier line two and a half three points works good make the font size bigger and for this pipeline we don't need to label it so we're going to remove that text copy by right clicking and click and copy right click again and paste and then drag your pipe where you want it drag your label where you want it double click and then add your label and then repeat for the rest of your pipes. Next up is to add a title block to your drawing by clicking on the text tool. Click the pointer tool to size the text box the way you want. Select it again and change the font size. Double click in the box to highlight the text so that you can add your name and the date. Then it's time to save your file. Click File, Save As. Pick a location. A thumb drive would be best. C drive will work, but uh, for a student computer, that uh, C drive will probably disappear when you log off.
this will save it as a Microsoft Visio file save it again as a JPEG file it's just a picture format and then go verify that it saved it properly <coughs> There's the JPEG file, and it worked good. And then when I went to close the file, close Microsoft Visio, it crashed, which is a good lesson in that when you're ever working on a project, you'll want to save your file periodically, because if you've done a lot of work and you haven't saved it, you've uh, wasted a lot of work. In this case, we just happened to save it uh, before it crashed, and so when we open the file back up, we'll see that it's there, and we didn't lose any work, so we were fortunate.